Yeah. Coach, Coach Sheldon, Sheldon Harrison. Harrison. There'll never be no comparison. You're, You're live on the show. show. Sit back and have a listen. I love it. Uh, yeah. LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. So this fight between James DeGale and Chris Eubank Jr., okay, it's going down. Listen, man. I'm so sick and tired of the news media saying, oh, if James DeGale loses, well, you know, it's, it's, it's the end of the road for his career. It's the end of the road. You know what? I'm sick of this in boxing, man. This guy's only lost two fights. James DeGale has only lost two fights. The man is 33. He's still young. He's young. 33 It's not old, okay? You're not exactly in your prime, but you're not old. James DeGale is actually, he's in a good place right now. Guys, this is what we need to stop doing in boxing, man. And, 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 and it's not like the man lost, okay? It's not like he lost to, like, uh, you know, some trash-ass competition, okay? Yes, this is a big fight. Yes, James DeGale would probably fare well if he, if he wins this fight. But his career is not over if he loses this fight. I mean, the news media, you got box red. You, you, I mean, you got all these YouTube channels. Uh, with James DeGale, James DeGale, yeah. If he loses, oh, he's it. He's washed up. It's not washed up, man. See, I'm so sick of the Floyd Mayweather Jr. effect in boxing. Everybody wants their favorite fighter just to be undefeated. Like, to me, honestly, if a guy has had, what, 30 or so fights, and if he lose, like, four or five, he's not done. Do you guys not understand he's winning more than he's losing? I mean, I don't know if people can understand that damn thing. He's winning more than he's losing. Damn. Like, everybody... They're just comparing every fighter so badly to that sellout Floyd. None of these other fighters can go in their own lane and be who they really are. This man's only lost two fights, y'all. And I, I just think people are just too stupid, man. I mean, what? He lost to George Groves earlier in his career. Okay? George Groves is a hell of a fighter. Okay? He lost to Badu Jack. It's not like he's losing to guys who are not good. This man has lost to the best. He's also beaten a few of the best. But he's not done after the fight's over. Like, God, dog, man. Man, no wonder a lot of these guys, no wonder a lot of these guys don't really want to take a chance and fight the best. Because, you know, I don't even think these guys are afraid. I don't think physically a lot of these guys are afraid of each other. I don't think they are. I think they're afraid of going the distance and being robbed on the scorecards. Or, you know, I think a lot of these guys are afraid of going a distance and, and not getting a decision. And then, you know, have have the boxing media, the boxing community just say, oh, well, you're garbage, you know. He shouldn't have took that fight. He shouldn't have did this. He shouldn't have did that. James DeGale is a hell of a fighter. Okay? He has nothing, I mean, to worry. If, if he if he were to lose this fight against Chris Eubank, okay, it is what it is. This man will just have three losses in 27, 28 bouts. I mean, we can't even get into the fight. We can't even get into, you know, trying to really build the fight or, or really, you know, talk about the fight because every article that you read, it's about the end of James, uh, James DeGale's career. It's like, damn, can the dude make a mistake? Everybody's not going to be perfect, man. Everybody's not going to have an O. Sometimes that O is going to go. At least James DeGale don't have to worry about his O. At least he don't have to worry about it. At least he don't. You know what I mean? Never been no comparison. He don't have to worry about his O. On the show. Let's let that play back out. Sit back and have a I ain't know it's going to play back over. But, you know, he don't have to worry about it. You know? So James DeGale can go in this fight calmly and confidently. He can go in there and just fight. He can go in there and fight his fight. I think James DeGale got the tools to beat Chris Eubank Jr. I think he do. Me, I think James DeGale is a better boxer. I think James DeGale is a better outboxer than Chris Eubank. And, you know, to me, with a guy like Chris Eubank, you know, you have to box him to beat him. Chris Eubank do got an equalizer. I mean, he can hit you and drop you. But I think James DeGale can outbox this dude. But what we need to see, we need to see the old James DeGale. We need to see him, man. We need to see this guy boxing, man. Boxing, not trying to brawl. Like, I was shocked when this guy, he sat in there and tried to trade with uh, Badu Jack. 
He fought Badu Jack's fight and lost the fight and then, you know, lost a damn tooth. James DeGale need to go in here and box, man. Box this kid. Box him. James, it's a winnable fight. It's a winnable fight. I'm, I'm going to be pulling for DeGale, man, simply because of how the, the news media, they're portraying this guy. Like, oh, okay, well, if he don't win this fight, then, you know, he, he, he's just, you know, he's done. He's washed up. He's finished. And I think more people need to start making videos like this. I think a lot of y'all do, man. Like, we need to, like, stop really putting pressure on these fighters with two losses and making them think that if they lose again, that it's over. No, the man will have three losses if he it, it is not victorious. Okay, on to the next one. I mean, guys like Adrian Broner. I know, we know he's a clown, but people don't give Broner enough credit for his ability to just fight anybody put in front of him. Broner could have easily turned down Maidana. He could have easily said, no, I don't want to fight Porter. I mean, Broner could have easily done that, man. He could have easily said, no, I don't want to fight Manny Pacquiao. Adrian Broner could have just said, point blank, no, I, I don't want a part of that. Adrian Broner took them tough fights anyway, man. He took the tough fights. He lost them. But that's one thing, man. We don't have many boxers like Adrian Broner who will take a tough fight. James DeGale, you know, he's taking a tough fight. Another tough fight in his career. Okay? And he's got some good names on his resume. But I think, you know, this fight, man, win or lose, we really need to support James DeGale. We got, I don't care if he's from the UK. I don't care where he's from, man. This guy's a fighter. Okay? He's a kind of fighter that he'll take a fight. And it's a tough fight. I get behind guys like James DeGale. So support to James DeGale from Coach Sheldon Harrison of the LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on?